My first studio, it was the way it was because of financial reasons, but uh, also it would accommodate the techniques that I was using at the moment. The techniques kept changing and uh, the space had to keep changing. And these days, look, I have all this space and still not enough, so it's always evolving. And I guess we're going into the new era right now with the new Casa Axis. I guess the main thing in my work is transformation, to never settle, to always find new things, to discover, and I guess that's the, the, the leitmotif in art. I did go to school, I learned all about painting on canvas, oil painting, acrylic, all that old stuff, which is great. I've always been trying to like be free in my creative process and try to express myself in the best way possible. You know, we experiment a lot. I used to paint on canvas, then that moved to wood, panels. Nowadays I'm painting on Daibon, that is aluminum composite panel, acrylic sheets. We use so many different techniques. I think it's really cool to have help because ideas go a little faster than the hands, especially when it comes to original work, but also edition work. And we have more staff, we have more people helping. Right now we're at this warehouse, we have another warehouse next door. I can't wait to be in space that is surrounded by nature, that makes me want to stay. And it's inspiring, you know, not only for me, but for my team and for the people visiting. I thought I'd buy a piece of land and build something from scratch, make a beautiful warehouse, beautiful studio. That was some idea that was in my mind for a little bit until I thought, how about if I try to find a house that's big enough in order to fit my entire operation? And I found this, right? It was so crazy at the beginning, I couldn't believe it. And I thought, is it gonna work? I didn't think it was an easy operation when it came to buy it. We met with the previous owners a couple times. It felt like might be possible and eventually it happened. Queridos, ¿qué pasa? Venimos Marina y yo ahora mismo caminando, nos hemos dado la mano, hemos llegado a un acuerdo, nos quedamos la casa. Mañana a las 10 y media de la mañana tenemos que visitar todo el estudio para ver la casa. It was crazy, you can imagine, right? Like uh, I came with the news to the studio. We literally started sketching and playing around. I met with the engineers in the studio, I met with the painting guys, and uh, we literally drew the, the dream studio on paper. I mean, one thing that I knew from the beginning is that I didn't want the new constructions to compete with the house, right? I didn't want them to go too high up. The first thing that we thought of is that we had to build a basement. We ordered a geotechnical study to know how hard the soil was gonna be. And uh, we did find rock, and it was hard rock, and it was not easy. And that was the first time I, I felt a headache. Uh, I think the guy that built this house was absolutely nuts. Why excavate all this much for a tennis court? We, we found really hard rock, but at the same time the soil is very fertile. We have a beautiful garden and uh, we wanted to preserve it. There was like a football field. That's basically where the entire exhibition space is gonna go on. So that was very clear, you know, no trees or anything. And then on the other side, we did have a couple trees that we moved and we relocated somewhere else in the garden. In fact, uh, two of the trees, we made space for them and they're gonna go through a roof, you know, uh, within the building. So I spent a lot of time speaking with Hernan. He's the housekeeper. He's been living and working at the house for 20 years. Aquí había mucho, mucho jardín, mucho. Y casi que te podría decir que como mínimo falta una tercera parte de lo que había. Always talked about the idea of bringing the garden back to its best times. Me ha preguntado mucho cómo era el jardín anteriormente. Yo le he explicado más o menos cómo era. Y entonces me dijo Hernán, esto tiene que volver a quedar como mínimo tal como estaba, si no es mejor. As soon as I walked in the property, how can you not notice these beautiful lamps by Afra and Tobias Carpa for Floss, the Tamburo. Tobias Carpa, who's the son of one of my favorite architects, Carlos Carpa. I think we counted almost a hundred of them, which is absolutely crazy. We are keeping most of them exactly where they are, but uh, the buildings do pass on top of some of them as well. So we want to relocate them as well in the property. We have the small ones, 
the tall ones, which are very rare actually, they need to be preserved in the best way possible. We load quite a bit of materials in here. Big paintings go out and crates in and out. So we needed a big entrance and uh, that was the first thing that we opened. I remember being very excited, very nervous. This is gonna be the main entrance of the studio. 84 construction company said that we could save some time if we had a secondary temporary opening. So they proposed to remove one of the planter fences and they did and they broke it. It was crazy. It was the first time I said mierda, like big time. The second owner, they installed this horrible white fence all around the property, which is an absolute outrage to, to beauty. We are planning to change that, to bring back the original fence. So we have the studio entrance, we have a secondary entrance, we have the trees relocated, the lamps are gone, everything is ready for the machines to come in and to trash the place and to build something beautiful, hopefully. I'm pretty sure that this new environment is going to shape my work, hopefully in ways that I cannot anticipate, which I really enjoy. My essence is changing with this new place. It's very, very fucking exciting. <laughs>